What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid, and this is the video that many people have been waiting for. Done it two times in the past with a cast of characters, and uh, yeah, this should be a should be a good time. This is the top three and bottom three bases of 2023. Kick that intro. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the uh, best list. Now, this is my opinion. I in no way am law. I am not law at all. This is just my opinion. Everybody's got an opinion. You may not agree with something that's on my list. You may have wanted to substitute some stuff that's on my list. And if you do, put that in the comments. Make your own best and worst list. That'd be great. I love to read it and possibly we might talk about it on the stream that's coming up on the 30th of December, I think two days from now. So let's get into this. Let's start with the best list because I know y'all want to hear the worst list. I know this every year. Y'all just, you're just waiting on it. You need it. You need to know who's trash and why. I got you. Let's start with this best list. This is in no particular order. Number one, it's Jima TJB5. In the video where I did the unboxing and my first impressions and stuff like that, I believe I said it came around the $600 price point. This actually is coming in at the $400 roundabout price point. I think it goes for $429 or so uh, on Revert, brand new. On their website, they do not have the TJB series for whatever reason. I think the one that they do for over in the States is the TW series. I don't know if they're the same thing. So, but I found the listing on Reverb and it's been over there. So that's what it looks like. Comes in a few different flavors. I'll run those. Plays great. Sounds great. It's a really good time. All right, number two, no particular order. The Fender Squire Sonic Precision Bass. This bass is coming in at around $219 US, and uh, it does all the bass things you need. This is great for somebody starting out. This is great for somebody that's doing some studio stuff. This is great for people that gig and they don't want to spend the whole grip on, on their instruments. This is a very solid offering, and it's a P bass. That's literally, it punches your ticket. Three gigs and you made your money back. Probably, you know? So it's a it's a good time. I personally have this base. It is over here. I have it in the lime green flavor. Shout out Solo John, it was good. Uh, he has this bad boy too. Look how it pops, man. It's, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Oh. Man, Squire did their thing with that one. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and go to the third entry on the list. And this is the Offbeat Guitars Jacqueline Bass. I played this bass earlier in the year, one of my first basses dealing with Offbeat Guitars, and it did not disappoint. Every bass that I get from them has been the same quality level. This is not paid, by the way. Uh, this is just my opinion, I'm telling you. Every bass that I paid from them has been immaculately put together. The, the staining on the instrument is beautiful. Uh, feels great, dialed in every time. Never had a sharp fret edge ever. And I've played probably eight of them now throughout the year or so, I think. I'm not, don't quote me, but I know it's been over five. So uh, one of the earlier ones that I played this year is the Jacqueline and uh, I'll be having pictures of it over here. The one I played, I believe was blue, but they do have other flavors of this bass. All of them look good, very tasty. Uh, coming in at $1,600. So same energy as a Fender, but it's all EMG pickups and electronics. It's volume, volume, tone, and an EXB or expression knob. So expression adds in the treble and bass for like scoop contouring and type of stuff. 
so good. But I currently have a bass that I haven't dropped on the channel yet. Stay tuned. Has the same thing, but with a little twist. I'll just say that. It's a little bit different. <laughs> Honorable mention. I have not played this bass, but every freaking bass player friend I have has owned this bass. They, they have it. They own it. They can't get enough of this bass. It's a short scale cutie. It is the Paranormal Rascal. It's coming in at 450, round about that price point. Little cutie, does the thing. I haven't played this bass and I'm, that's gonna be one thing I'm endeavoring to do coming into the 2024 season. I'm gonna I'm get my hands on this bass. I wanna play this bass. I need to put it on the channel. We're gonna see how that's go. You know what I'm saying? Um, amp the bass player. Johnny Dibble, Low End Lobster, uh, Sono, they've all had their hands on this bass and they say the same thing. It's great, especially for the money. And I don't, I don't have it. That has to change. It needs to change. It will change. Moving on. We are now at the worst. I know, you've been waiting. Let's get into it. Worst, no particular order. The Epiphone Newport coming in at 450. It's a cheap Gibson. The messed up thing about this is the Newport and the Rascal came out at the same time. The Newport got washed completely by the Rascal. And they cost the same, but completely washed. I know a few people that actually had the Newport because they were excited about it and they traded it for the Rascal. I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't. I also haven't played this bass. I haven't been to many guitar centers or anything to just try out stuff. That may be another thing I'll get back to. Just go there, record, and just see what's going on, you know? But, um, yeah. Newport. <sighs> no particular order. Reverend Mike Watt. Watt Plower MK2 bass. This bass is coming in at around 1700 and on paper, it is everything that you want a bass to be, especially if you have a colorful personality. So it's sparkle. You know your boy likes to make a statement. You know what I'm saying? Comes in root beer flavor. I haven't seen that before. That's nice. Very different. I don't have anything like that. Have to buy an outfit for that bass. I can dig that. Has three pickups. You know what I'm saying? Okay, two humbuckers and a pee. That sounds like a really good time. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Short scale. I got big hands, but hey, it's lighter. Maybe it won't neck die. That sounds good. Good times. They took the orientation of the pickups and they squished it up here by the neck. Hard pass. Now, here's the thing. The type of music I play, I need some type of articulation and I don't want to just rely on the back pickup just so I don't get lost in the mix. Now, that's the type of music I play. May not be the type of music you play. You might play rock or something like that, where you have whole notes or quarter notes where you don't do anything flavorful and out of the ordinary. And this may, this may sound great in line with some pedals, if that's your jam. This may be the thing for you. It's just not the thing for me. I, I uh, aesthetically, it looks like an Epiphone bass. I said it. I said it. That's whatever. You can feel how you feel, but it looks like an Epiphone bass. <laughs> Reverend does make good basses, just not this one. <laughs> and I said it's coming in at the $1,700 price point. Absolutely not. I'll get an offbeat guitar. <laughs> uh, next on the list. The Warwick Pro Series Thumb BO four string bass. I know it probably is bow, but I like saying BO because I think it stinks. Looks like this uh, comes in <clears throat> at $4,030. D 
You know how many Papa John's pieces that is? It's a lot. It's a lot of Papa John's pieces. Again, this ain't a sponsored thing. I just had to put it in something that's quantifiable. I can't imagine paying $4,000 for, for, for that. Okay? A Stingray is half that price. Hell, you can buy two Stingrays. Ernie Baldwin's for that price. Almost. Absolutely not. Okay, moving on before I get upset. I have to put this on the list because a certain somebody destroyed this base when he put his hands on it and got to getting on it, okay? I will say this, the sound of the bass is A1. I love how it feels, sounds, plays. I bend strings a lot, so I didn't notice that the bridge was off. Also found out later doing some research that a lot of different people have ran across the same issue. I'm talking about the Fender 10 foil bass. I actually own this bass, it's back there. It is a looker, actually, let me grab it. Fender 10 foil bass, looks the part, sexy, great, binding, mm-hmm, tasty. So, since that video, Lobster had it uh, plucked and he had the bridge repositioned to the correct position. So everything is A1 on the bass now. It's, it's a good time. It just, it's very sad that it was messed up the very first time I picked it up. But now it's all good. And I, I have to put it on the worst list because it was a whole thing there. Even though it's great now, I can see how it would be on the worst list if you had a weak E on a base. You know, it's just not a good look. But there's that. Oh, it's so good. It's a great time. I think I'm gonna play it this weekend. <laughs> oh, all right. So that is my list. I believe I'm gonna get together with some of my, uh, some of the Bullyverse characters and we're gonna do a stream where we check out each other's videos. Maybe some stuff that's on my list is on their list, vice versa. And we're gonna talk about it. Should be a good time. I think it's gonna be going down on the 30th of December. So y'all stay tuned for that. Till then, I've been Alan Brown, AKA Bullet Kid. Yeah, be easy.